Hi! If you're watching this, it means that during your busiest shift of the week, a masked customer came into your store and handed out to the front of house $1 tips with a little message telling you to unionize, a link to a Discord server, and a link to this video. I imagine many of you are watching this after a hard shift, so I will try to make this short. Your workplace is getting a union on a Discord server. And not just your workplace, but also all the stores of this franchise in your city. Because that customer did the same thing at every store in the city on the same day. This means that all of the employees in the city are now facing the same choice. Join the union despite the risk of getting fired, or avoid making any waves. If getting fired is your worry, then let me reassure you, you can make a dummy Discord account that isn't tied to your email address, and corporate will have no way of identifying you. If you're still worried, I suggest you use a non-US-based VPN to conceal your IP address so that even a hacker couldn't track down the origin of your account. But despite the risks, I think that a majority of the people who get the link are going to join, because enough is enough. Right now, Every store is stretched thin, and you are forced to do double shifts every week because corporate can't hire anyone to help since they aren't raising the entry salary anymore. And all of those jobs are missing people because cooks and servers and hosts died from COVID when corporate didn't give you all adequate health care and good protection measures. Enough is enough. And now we are doing something about it. Here's the plan. You're going to join the Union Discord server, and then you're going to send a text to every worker whose phone number you have in the store and tell them to do the same thing and to watch this video. This way, we are contacting everyone, even the people who weren't on shift when you got the links. Your priority are the people of back of house who couldn't have gotten one of the tips. Don't send it to anyone in corporate or management because they aren't invited to join. You all need to do this because a coworker isn't likely to join a union based off of one text but they are much more likely to if they receive the same advice from multiple co-workers because now they can see that the movement has momentum. If you manage to get enough people on board, then corporate will not be able to fire you because that would mean restaurants shut down for days all over the city. It would mean having to train a whole new staff and even then the new staff is susceptible to unionizing as well. It's a huge loss of profits that companies cannot afford, especially during this worker shortage that we keep hearing about. And after that, you can all connect to Discord and use the poll master to come to decisions democratically. There will be polls like vote to create a union, or should we do a strike this week, or what demands should we send to corporates in our letter to them. You should vote on those issues, and that will get things done, because now you're organized and unionized. You can ask for $35 an hour for everyone, even the servers. The servers will tell you that the store makes more than enough money to pay everyone at least that much. The money is there, but the owners are just hoarding it to buy a second mountain of pure gold. What, Chris? One mountain of pure gold wasn't enough for you? Jeez. You can ask for stable schedules that don't change every week. You can ask for good healthcare. You can ask to have a union representative be part of all of the corporate meetings. You can ask to have protection against being fired for stupid reasons. You can ask to have the nasty manager who hits on all of the waitresses fired. You can ask all of those things, because if the owners of the company don't give you those things, you can do a strike that will affect every store in the city. Right now, all of the kitchens are understaffed, so if we get half the cooks to strike, then the food isn't going to happen. And if there's no food, the company makes no money and its value drops. After that, the owners of the company only have two choices. They can keep trying to use you as a cash cap and fail, or they can sell the company at a loss. And if you have enough people in the union, then you can buy the company from them, have the union be in charge and redistribute amongst yourselves the huge amounts of money that y'all make every day. I'm not saying this is going to be easy. Your higher-ups are going to use every tool that they have to stop this from happening. They will threaten to fire everyone, but they can't operate the stores if no one is training the new employees. They will fold on some of your demands to appease you, but now you have the upper hand in negotiations. 
They will tell you that you don't need a union to protect you from the abuses of management. But you will know better. They will try to fire some of you, as an example. But the union can set up a system of dues and hire a lawyer to protect you all. They will try to infiltrate the Discord server to spy on you. But you will have a security system to have four union members vouch for new people who want to join the server. Here at the Coalition of Austin Tenants, we believe that you deserve a job that pays you well and that doesn't risk your health by working you to the bone. The hardest part of unionizing is to get a lot of people to join faster than corporate can react. And thanks to the customer that gave you all $1 tips, the hard part is done. Now it's up to you. We have linked resources for union building and legal defense in the description of the video and on the Discord server. We made this video to explain how to build a union where everyone is equal. The video is about tenants unions, but the same principles apply to a workplace union. We have also made this video to explain what individual actions you can take to help your union fight for your power in the workplace. If you think that our plan was a good one to organize a workplace, we suggest that you get some people with a lot of $1 bills to do the same thing at another franchise in town. Because the more workers unions there are out there, the more likely it is that you will have one set up at your next job. And the more unions we have out there, the harder union busters are going to have to work to fight us. Corporate thinks that they can treat you like dog shit and that you will keep making them money. So, are you gonna help me prove them wrong?